With a sudden rise in popularity often comes an equal rise in the number of eyes that gaze upon you. This occasionally happens in the indie VTuber scene, as sometimes all it takes is just one eye-catching post on Twitter to propel you into fame. Or at least as much fame as a micro-celebrity in a very niche genre on the internet can get. One such instance was a VTuber by the name Ume Kaitu. I watched as this person skyrocketed to over 5,000 Twitter followers practically overnight just from one tweet of their model reveal that popped off. It's not hard to see the charm in their design. You got an innocent, comfy-looking sheep twink with a cozy autumn-like fit, a warm-looking scarf, cute little sheep ears and horns, and these nice accessories atop their head that are like a perfect garnish on top. Contrast this cute design with his banner of him with a cruel, sadistic smile as he proceeds to inject you, the audience, with a mysterious substance. It seemed like everything was perfect for this guy to take off. After all, a cute design with a dark twist? A perfect anime trope that many find appealing. He basked in his glory for a few days, relishing in the newfound attention. Only, everything was far from perfect. It turned out he may have actually plagiarized his design. Hello everyone, my name is Safira Denoma, but you can call me Saf. It's not every day that you see someone rise from obscurity to popularity, only to see them deactivate pretty much under 24 hours after allegations of plagiarism were thrown at their feet. But hey, that's what I'm here for, to gather all this information and present it to you all on a silver platter. Let's begin. I don't have much of a background check on Ume Kaitu to give to you guys. I only noticed him blip on my radar around early April of 2024. Based on his Twitch's about page, it looks like he's been a VTuber since May of 2023, achieved affiliate that same month, and was slowly but steadily knocking out follower milestones as the months went on. Between December of 2023 and April of 2024, there appeared to be a bit of a hiatus as the follower count suddenly went from 600 to over 1,000 on April 9th, 2024. So given this timeline, I can safely assume that his tweet about his model and design had popped off around April 9th maybe a day before as things tend to take a while to get traction. And that explains the sudden influx of new people. Everything started to fall downhill for Ume Kaitu on April 11th, 2024, when Meep Sheep VT released this callout post. This needs to be brought to everyone's attention. Ume Kaitu has recently revealed their VTuber model, but the design is completely stolen from this artist. I was amazed at how good it looks and reached out to Ume to tell him this, but I see no credit to the original artist. While it might not be my place to speak on this, I just feel as though everyone needs to be made aware before choosing to support someone like this. It would seem Ume has also been hiding replies asking him about the similarities. Upon first glance, it's quite uncanny the number of similarities between Ume's design and the referenced art. They share the oversized scarf, the green leaves and white flowers on the same side, and even this golden looking accessory on the right side. Plus the exact same hairstyle was pretty much down to the T including the little ahoge and the exact strokes in the bangs. Sure, there are some minor differences, such as the differing horns and the rest of the outfit, but at a glance, it is definitely suspiciously similar. Ume's response has been deleted now, but I vaguely recall Ume had said something along the lines of, no one owns the concept of a sheep VTuber. The outfits are nothing alike, and the golden accessories and the reference images of a spider lily. But mine is a curved ornament. Even my horns aren't alike. Okay, sure. Let us entertain this theory for a bit. It is true that no one owns a Kimono Mimi sheep twink, but let's see all the other sheep VTubers that come to the top of my head. Let's see, Meep Sheep here is a sheep VTuber. And this is just a side speculation, but I think their interest in sheep VTubers is also the reason they could detect the similarity so fast to make this call out post in the first place. But there is no similarity to that referenced picture. There is also Bo, Minore, and Vice, who all have designs of sheep people, but none of these look anything remotely similar to that reference picture, nor to each other. They all have their own unique hairstyles, unique horn shapes, unique outfits, and unique overall themes. As another VTuber named Kayo weighs in, you cannot claim those things, yes, but when many components of the design are the same, that's when it's a problem. One, horns. Two, hair slash hair color. Three, eye shape slash color. Four, scarf. 5. Golden hair accessory 6. Leaf accessory The whole concept in itself is just stolen. The only disagreement I have to Kayo's point is that the horns are different, but otherwise I agree with his assessment. It is considered plagiarism when many components of something are the same that it can seem like an almost exact replica of something else that exists. 
especially if there's minimalistic changes to make the entire concept yours. I mean, come on. I'm sure most of you all here have already seen H-Bomber Guy's video on plagiarism. Plagiarism is not restricted only to videos or essays, but anything creative, including art itself. So, not only did Ume double down and proceed to get some flack for their immature behavior, but the situation somehow gets even worse. The artist of the original reference design responded to the situation, and they proceed to tell us what had transpired between them and Ume. Regarding your inquiry, I have already replied to that account. I once received a DM asking for permission to use the design, but I declined. However, I noticed that a VTuber was using the design, and since I do not give permission to use or sell the design, I asked them to change the flower on the head, floral decoration, and gold decoration. A Google Translate of their image post gives the following. I do not provide any illustrations for this design. Last year, I was asked if I could use the illustrations, but I declined the request once. This time, even though I declined the request, they used a design that looked very similar to my illustration, so I sent them a DM and asked them to change the decorations. I was offered all of the illustration designs and a proposal to purchase them, but I have no intention of providing or selling the illustration designs. However, I don't want you to change the entire design, but I would like you to change the flower head, grass decoration, and gold decoration part, and I would like you to continue to work hard as a VTuber, think. Thank you to all my fans for looking at my illustrations and for your kind words. I will continue to work hard to deliver wonderful illustrations to everyone, so I appreciate your continued support. Now, I just want to say, this artist is incredibly generous and kind about the situation. Not only did they tell Ume no when he first approached the artist to try and use their design, but when Ume proceeded to go behind their back anyway after being declined, they still had the patience to understand Ume wanted to be a VTuber, so all they requested was that he just remove the accessories and that'd be it. I personally don't believe this guy should have any passes to use a design he never got the rights to in the first place, because if an artist tells you no, you should respect their wishes and just not use it. For a more simpler explanation of why this is wrong, just imagine you made your own unique original character, or OC. If someone asks you, hey, I want to buy your OC and use it commercially, and you say no, you expect them to back off, right? But then imagine a year later you find out this guy decided to just steal your OC and make it theirs anyway. You'd be pretty pissed, no? It's not hard to think of a different design, or at the very least take the concept of it and ask an actual designer artist to use it as inspiration for something more unique to you. But back to Ume Kaitu's situation, this artist was being incredibly kind about the situation. Removing the leafy and flower decoration and the golden ornament should be an easy fix if he just went back to his model parents. Maybe they could even change it to something else, like a feather or a different kind of plant or maybe even a flower crown instead. But you know what this guy said, despite being given way too many generous chances when he deserves none? Ume says, Please read it carefully. I respect everyone's opinion about the whole situation, but I'd rather discuss it with the artist and not a third party. This is supposed to be only handled by the artist and me. Down emoji, bow emoji. And the Discord message says, First, I never stated that I did not use the artwork as in reference, so please keep those assumptions respectfully out of this that I denied it. I've contacted the artist and we will have a deeper conversation into it. I know the previous conversation of mine might be a bit stubborn towards them, where I refused to change the two aspects that they requested, and I apologize them directly through DMs. I will discuss anything further with the artists themselves. I thank everyone for their concerns and sharing their point of view. Please don't harass anyone who worked on this model since I'd take the full responsibility for this entire situation. Bow emoji. Thank you for understanding. I just like it when people who do bad things tend to use double negatives for whatever reason. Like, oh no, I never said I don't do drugs. Or I never said I did not use that artwork as a reference before. Like, bro, who you trying to fool? But then they said this stuff with a billion typos and quite frankly, I don't have much to add besides it's kind of suspicious when he's trying to placate the masses by saying he'd rather just handle it privately with the artist when the artist already gave him clear guidelines of how to continue using a design that they blatantly stole with as minimal changes as possible. Like, just take the L and suck it up. This artist is already being way too kind to your stinky behind. But then came out even more evidence. Evidence that Ume has, in fact, used the same art piece as not only a reference, but for their profile picture on their throne, on their Kofi, and on their Steam. 
Remember, they never got permission to use these from the artist last year. But they still went behind the artist's back anyway and used it regardless for many months, maybe even a year, without any care. It was shortly after this evidence came to light that Ume Kaitu deactivated their Twitter. They also have since changed their Twitch, phone, Kofi, and presumably Steam profile pictures to no longer have this evidence left behind. They also replaced their Twitch image and emotes with a pre-made, pay-to-use model that we'll talk about more shortly. But if you thought this was the end of it, nope. The situation gets even stranger. Some artists saw Meep Sheep's callout and chimed in with their own experience with Ume, wondering why Ume always seems so particular about their style of art. Madame Mito has the following to say. Seeing this honestly doesn't surprise me. I had an unpleasant interaction with them as well last year. They commissioned a your character here from me and were basically asking me to change my art style, saying things like, can you make the bangs look one-to-one -to, -one to my model? which, as an artist, I found a little disrespectful. There are more things while working with them that bothered me, but I guess this stuck out to me because it seemed like they didn't respect me as an artist. The Discord messages go as follows. Ume. I feel like the hair is a bit too light, and I'd prefer to have it a proper and darker outlines for the hair, since it will not be visible if you use it on Twitch, especially the braided hair as an example. Also, is it possible to shade the hair like the artist slash ref above? Mito says, I could make the outlines darker, however I cannot shade like the reference since that would be changing my art style slash shading style. Ume says, Hmm, alright. But yee, besides the shading, I'd prefer the revisions I've asked. Is it possible to make the bangs look one-to-one -one like my model? Besides that, the outline def looks better. And the different hair shade. Mito says, Unfortunately, no, since you already approved the sketch and I already completed the entire emote. And again, I cannot copy another artist's art style. I drew the bangs in my style while not changing the design. Ume says, mm, Alright, then it's fine like that. I think it's really sus that this guy insists that the bangs and even shading to be one-to-one -to, -one to his model. Like, no offense, man, but it's a chibi emote. The emote itself is freaking tiny. If you make that hairstyle one-to-one -one in such a tiny little thing, no one's even going to see that level of detail. In addition, asking someone to change how they shade is incredibly rude. You should only commission an artist if you like their style, and to check if you like their style, you go look at their portfolio. It ain't rocket science. Another artist named Akur also spoke out with the following. Oh god, he conned me to make a doodle model of this character. I wish I knew it was being stolen. I didn't want to think of it like that, but at the moment I did think he was being rude. I thought maybe he doesn't really know how to properly interact with people and he's just rough. But yeah, no, he's rude. Chibis usually have exaggerated anatomy and expressions to be cuter. The Discord screenshot is as follows. The eyes from the pet can be smaller? Uh, it's not really accurate to the reference, I think. I'm sorry. Sad, teary-eyed face. And for real, what the heck is this guy doing? It's a chibi doodle model. Something as silly as a doodle model is not supposed to be this basically a small hyper-detailed model that has to match one-to-one -to, -one to his overall design for the head and mascot. Like, look at it! It looks way too busy and honestly way too much work for what this artist was probably charging for something that was supposed to be silly and cute. This is actually wild nitpicking and I feel awful that these artists had to deal with this level of, I don't know, obliviousness? Low-key Karen-ness? Lack of care or respect towards other artists? All of the above? And did you think that was all? Haha, <laughs> nope! Even his model artist had something to say about the rudeness of this guy. His model was made by the talented DG Studio. One day after Meep Sheep's callout, they responded with the following. We are also the victim. Here is our clarification statement. And their clarification statement goes as follows. Dear community members, we write to you in a spirit of transparency and accountability regarding the recent unsettling events linked to Ume, which have deeply shocked and disappointed our community. Our studio has long upheld a principle of non-criticism towards former clients. However, the persistent disrespect and mistreatment that our artists have tortured from Ume over the past few months compel us to speak out. These actions have taken a toll on our artists mentally. In person, it is presumed that Ume claimed the artwork as his original character, O.C., from the outset on purpose. This suspicion arises from his initial consultation with our studio in Discord, during which he presented the contentious artwork as his profile picture. Furthermore, the design requirement forms he submitted were wholly based on this image. Admittedly, after a cursory Google search of the image that yielded no results and observing its use as profile picture across multiple platforms by Ume, we did not suspect any malfeasance regarding its originality. 
Regrettably, throughout our engagement, Ume frequently breached the terms of service by insisting on minutely detailed and stringent revisions under the guise of perfectionism. Despite our repeated, well-intentioned reminders about the violation of our terms of service concerning nitpicking, he continued to demand overly meticulous adjustments, emphasizing his critical nature towards artistic work. Moreover, his specific request for us to follow exactly the head, hairstyle, and headpieces details from his profile picture were clear indications of his intent to base his model on OG artwork. We deeply regret the creation of this controversial model and extend our profound apologies for the lax oversight of our reference material verification process. Moving forward, we commit to rigorously verifying the origins of all references, especially those pertaining to character designs, ensuring detailed citations and evidence to prevent any forms of plagiarism. DG Studio stands vehemently against all forms of plagiarism and unoriginality. We are dedicated to respecting and protecting the legitimate rights and copyrights of content creators within the community. So now we add more rules in TOS and fields in forms for keeping the copyright safe. Thank you for listening our statement. We appreciate your understanding and support as we strive to maintain the integrity and creativity of the environment. The screenshots they provide are the following. The first screenshot shows his design requirement forms and how he uses that referenced images over and over for everything. He also used it as his Discord profile picture and his notes were basically pointing out how much more similar it should be to his reference picture, including, hair should be similar to this dried flower in hair, should look like this to more fluffy, eyes should be like this, should have human ears, same style plus brighter yellow eye color. As DG Studio points out, his specific request for them to replicate exactly the head, hairstyle, and headgear details were clear indications for his intent to base his creation on this artwork. Their second evidence picture is the following. Regrettably, through our engagement, Mr. Ume frequently breached the terms of service by insisting on minutely detailed and stringent revisions under the guise of perfectionism. Ume says, And on the other hairstyle are some mistakes, brown lines on the hair. The side ponytail on the right and the left side hair part behind the ear should have a softer outline like the top hair of the model, please, since it looks very pixelated. The flowers and the small earrings outlines are pretty pixelated and harsh too. Please get that fixed too. Please let the artist check on two harsh pixelated outlines on the model. DG Studio says, The flower request is too insane. As I told you, the resolution is not unlimited. Ume says, Well, that not possible to make the line less harsh and dark? DG Studio says, You shouldn't take too much attention on this tiny things. And so the artist's computer can't support him to do so. He can't even control that tiny pixel. Hmm. The pen brush itself is far more bigger than flower pixel. Yeah, but the other outlines seem fine except those areas I've circled. I mean, if flowers are not possible to change the way I've requested, then at least change the hair part I've circled since that's bothering me the most. Sorry for nitpicking, but I want a model that doesn't bother me while looking at every detail. Hope that's understandable. I think it's already break the rules since it's just a model. Hmm? I think I mentioned it, our regulations. The modeler for modifications, free of charge for up to three times. If you are accustomed to nitpicking on details like pixel level flaws and prefer to propose modifications bit by bit rather than providing centralized feedback, please let us know in advance as we may not be able to accept your order. Then I hope the artist can fix whatever is able to be fixed. The nitpicking. Mm. I think I already accept enough changing times for so much unnecessary details. This is the last chance for changing. Despite our repeated well-intentioned reminders about the violation of our terms of service concerning nitpicking, he continued to demand overly meticulous adjustments, emphasizing his critical nature towards artistic work. Yeah, I'm sorry. Understandable with my requests. But yeah, those are my last requests. He says his screen is 32 inch big in 4K resolution. What you mention is just a tiny dot on his layer, so that's just too small to be noticed. Laughing emoji. Their third screenshot is the following. This is the conversation after we already finished the sketch in color. Mm, for me, what the most important parts are the hair, face, eyes, whole head part. To follow the references and requests I've shown. There shouldn't be any other drastic changes for the rest, so ye. One more question. Do all your reference copyright safe? I mean, if we complete follow your reference, would it be too similar to others OC? For the sheep ref, I did ask them on Twitter. They are an Japanese artist. 
For the rest, I haven't asked slash found the artist, but as an example, changing to a similar skin color or eyes, I don't think it can get copyrighted. And hold up, I just gotta say this real quick. You don't think it can get copyrighted with just minor changes? Bestie, have you never heard of the concept of plagiarism in your entire life? How you can't just change one teeny itty bitty thing and expect no one to notice eventually? You're fucking stupid and I think someone needs to watch H Bomber Guy's video on plagiarism because I don't have the cohesiveness to dive into why what this guy tried doing is stupid as hell. Also, see how they leave out the fact that the artist told him no for using the artwork reference? Hmm, mighty suspicious behavior, Ume. For the fourth screenshot, DG Studio shows us the revised form where it clearly says at the bottom that please make sure all your references are copyright safe and provide proofs of authors authorized or we can refuse to follow it. DG Studio is covering their own base because, in my opinion, it should not be on them to have to dig up to see if something is within the client's right. The client themselves should know better prior to applying, especially in a field where many VTubers are built off the backs of artists and creatives as a whole. That aspect is why so many people in the VTubing community had a problem with this. Artists literally created VTubers. Even for the first VTuber to ever exist, someone out there had to design the model, someone had to draw the art, someone had to model that art and understand perspectives and how the art should move. VTubers and anyone wanting to get into VTubing need to respect artists because without them, we wouldn't be able to exist. And no, no, get your AI bullshit out of here. I don't want to hear it. Living on though, it seems that every creative this Ume person had talked to had a negative and weird experience with, with this man seemingly insistent that they use the same style to plagiarize details of an artist's design that he doesn't actually own the rights to. He has disrespected the artist who originally conceived and drew this design. He's disrespected the mode artist and chibi model artist. And he also disrespected the art studio that took the time to craft his model with love and care under the belief his design was entirely his. Not only did he lie to many people, deceiving them by leaving out information that he had zero right to this design and constantly disrespected artists, but he had the gall to even use that same studio's pay-to-use model of a wolf kimono mimi as his current stand-in. Truly, scum will never learn. But alas, with Ume Kaitu's Twitter currently deactivated at the time of writing the script, and with zero activity going on in his Twitch, we can presume he's trying to stay under the radar for now. Hopefully this video will shed some light on this guy's sordid history should he try to return once the dust settles, because we all know people on the internet have a tendency to forget things after a week or so. But me? <laughs> I rarely forget. And now that I'm getting into the habit of making videos documenting things that catch my interest, I don't think I'll be forgetting anytime soon. But before we end today's video, I just wanted to shout out DG Studios. I'm not sponsored at all, <laughs> what's that like? But I've been following them for some time, ever since they carved a niche for making high quality, gorgeous looking, pay to use models accessible for pretty much anyone looking to get into VTubing with a live 2D model. I highly recommend these guys if you or anyone you know wants to get into VTubing, but want a beautiful model to use while you figure out if this hobby is for you. It is relatively cheap, inexpensive way to break into the market. While you lose out your uniqueness, as anyone can use these models if they also pay, it's a good way to test out various programs such as VTube Studios to see if you like the concept of streaming or making content as a VTuber. They have an assortment of models and are constantly making more. Like, come on, look at these gorgeous eyes and these washboard abs. This one's even free, albeit there's no toggles to have fun with, but you can still get a lot of traction out of this just for the price of basically nothing. Wait, does Winky even work on this one? Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> They also have commissions open if you happen to have a unique design that you own the rights to that you'd like a model art and or rig done by. Just putting that out there. I just wanted to shout them out since they seem like a reputable studio that cares and they seem to have a decent track record thus far. So it shocked me that such a situation happened that caused even this studio some distress. It's not every day you see scummy people try to claim a design they don't own as theirs for so long under the radar, but when they blow up suddenly, they have to remember. You will have more eyes on you, and if you have skeletons sticking out that closet, it will come tumbling out. But hey, that's what I like about the VTuber community. Many here care about and love artists, and many artists likewise care about and love VTubers. Well, at least the good, non-toxic ones, that is. But that sums up the situation for now. May Ume never return with that stolen design without at least reworking it, if his model parents are even willing to entertain him after all that. If Ume insists on wanting to be a VTuber more seriously, 
be more unique next time. Eh? Until next time, everyone. Take care and keep it vibing. Bye.